Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about splitting of the milk and how important that is. So to illustrate this, I'm going to be doing two lattes today and I've got my small and medium sized jug. Now while my shots are pouring and the extraction looks great, I'm going to put a bit of hot water in my smaller jug and allow that to heat up the smaller jug. The reason we do that is as we froth the milk to 60, 65 degrees Celsius, when we start to split the milk in the smaller jug, we don't want to lose any of that temperature and we don't want to lose our consistency. For consistency, I will always pour my milk to the same amount on the jug, which is just above that spout, and that is used as an indicator for where my milk needs to go. That should be enough milk for the two small coffees I have here for preparation. First thing I do is I always purge. As you can see, some condensation will be released. We don't want any of that water going into our milk. So always purge before you start your frothing. What I like to do is I place the milk jug horizontal to the bench, slightly off center, and just the tip of the steam wand in the milk. Switch it on full blast. I want to hear that scratching sound in the beginning, and you can see that circular sort of motion with the milk folding over itself. As soon as I feel any warmth, I lift it up half a centimeter to stop injecting any air into the milk. And when it gets too hot to touch, one, two, three. For a smaller jug, I'll count to one, and for the large jug, I'll count to five seconds. Also very important to purge after you finish steaming. So now we have silky milk. I'm gonna split this to ensure that each latte has equal amount of froth. So the way I do that is ensure my jug is hot. I'll pour nice and consistently, getting froth and milk at the same time to fill the jug to the top and then just simply pour back enough that it's 50-50 or thereabouts, same amount of milk. Now grab my latte glass, keep turning my milk, come to pour. Whatever leftover milk I have, I'll pour into a larger jug. And because it's been sitting while I've been pouring the first jug, I'll just give it a nice mix to ensure the froth and the milk mix together. When you start to see the light bouncing off the milk, you know that you've got that consistency back. Break the creme with my left hand and we're gonna go again. So as we put these cups side by side, you can see that because we've split the milk and distributed the froth equally, we have two lattes with identical amount of froth in each cup. Mm -hmm. 